What's going on, everybody? It's bc 9 for xyz here, and welcome back, everybody, to Horizon Zero Dawn. We're going to continue on with the main story. We're in the Gaia's ruins now, and we're just trying to find out what's going on and how to restore her, essentially. So, uh, let's do it. Again, super excited to say I'm recording this on the PS4 Pro, even though it's in 1080p. We will deal with that. Uh, the... 4K stuff when we get to it, but for now, we'll just keep on going. Uh, recording. Recording. Good. Okay. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. anything because the camera is being stupid, but... with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who would I signed up for? Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, happy trails, Liz. And, uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. She's gone. 
really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Eloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. Um... You'd hate it, Liz, but oh, he's I wrote you a eulogy. No. That sucks. Well, we knew Liz couldn't have survived, but still, you know, it sucks to see that she was actually killed. Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, uh, Dr. Onset. These messages are becoming a little too, um... Open the door. What are we going to plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history. A whole lot of so called truth. Uh, a, whole, a whole lot of noise. It's not tablet, Les. It's poison. <laughs> Alright, now what do we do? There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored. Who oh. found the control room? I did not realize that was a ledge. What is that? This is going. Continue. Okay. Boy. Open the hatch. 
the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. Oh, boy. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh, no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is, I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They have a cure and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Fucking Ted. By the way, I didn't turn away. She turned away. Um, on the coding, turned her away on her by herself. What a disgusting animal. He, he killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the Alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we're living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. So he literally destroyed all records of our culture to save us from, quote unquote, repeating everything. Master Override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Alright. Hold on, before we go, there's something in here. It's not a boss fight here. Sound good? Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Keep holding, keep holding.
It seems like the only way that I can get up there is through this. Oh, just kidding. Another one of these power cells. But what do I do with it? There we go. More of these ruins. Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian, the Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva, its code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems, Hades wants to send a new transmission. To wake the machines, so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse... The robots they've resurrected... They're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. So how do I stop Hades? I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere, and everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Wow. They're coming. Preparation. 
missions are complete. Ah, loosen the Bahamas. So, I didn't ask him about um, Hades or anything like that because I don't really care anymore because he's not on their side, so it doesn't really make any sense. ready to strike after what happened with Durval I know he'll defend the city but the spire so I can't yet head over there and tell him, shall we? Might as well continue the main story. We don't really have that many side quests left. I already looked. And, um, I'd like to finish up this game soon. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't know why she's shivering. Uh, I'm gonna do a manual save. Just because... Makes more sense to do a manual save in this case. Amazing how they uh, <laughs> go to us, <laughs> or that they they admire us so much. I have to talk to a vod. By the sun, I'll be feet by the time this is done. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes, send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. 
If we are to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. So obviously she did. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. The Sun King owes his life to an outland. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. The Ridge will be the front line. That's where the City Guard are holding? Yes. Bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. All right. All right, so it's telling me that I do need to Few preparations. Let me just do that on camera. Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? No. Elevator is so cool. By the way, oops. what level does this recommend? Thirty four.
Yikes, 34. I know that. Well. Try to kill the sun. This one's closer, so let me go over here. Just because he failed to kill the Sun King doesn't mean he's any less guilty. He should pay. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nor at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. The Osram have gone too far this time. Draval should die for his crimes. I agree. Let's <sighs> review preparations at the ridge quickly. Damn, this is, a, this is a little longer way than I thought. That's okay, though. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. Th and you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Okay.
So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Let's... Big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Alright, I'll be right back when I get to the, uh... Preparations at the spire. We're at the spire. Now what? Um, I don't know what this means to review stuff, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna fast travel back to Meridian, and we'll be right back, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Kills. Oh my God! I'll see you guys next time on Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs>